Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Let the song end, Greenhouse, from Homestuck Volume 5. That song fucking slaps. Um, welcome back. And happy 1025. Uh huh. Hello, Mixolydia. Welcome. Yeah, it is Homestuck Holiday today. <laughs> Don't. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, there was not an update today, which is okay. There will still be one more this month. Um, but today can just be all about Cascade Day. <laughs> oh, Cascade Day, and also, very importantly, the anniversary of, um, a Facebook post that I made in 2014. This was very important, uh, for Facebook to, to let me know that I made a, this post in 2014. There, there won't be? You accidentally... Don't, okay, where are you getting this information, though? I haven't seen that. Tweet. Oh. Well, I am not on Twitter, so hold on. Hold on, hold on. Twitter.com. <laughs> because that is a very important thing to include in community news. <laughs> um... Oh, but it does make sense because there it was kind of two distinct scenes with the Rose and Jade and with Jake and Jane. Uh, there. I see. Yeah, okay, so that's... Okay, new piece of important community news hot off the presses. <laughs> or, like, hot off the press. I think they only just realized it today. Yeah, why the last one... Oh, let me take the text off the screen. Why the last update felt so chunky. Okay, so... We have two pieces of community news today. I thought it was just one, but it is two. And this is, well, the second one is... is just getting more hype. Okay. Uh, so, oh, my bad. No update till next month because we did two at once. Internally, we had it sectioned out as A, B, and C. A and B were a bit short individually, so got combined into one update, and I got mixed up with the pacing. Mistakenly, still thought it was two. The next update will be early next month. I got confused because I'm old. They say memories the first need to go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well... Next month is not that far away, so we will have more to review soon. Any hello? Who? Why? We? Okay. And then fucking Microsoft Office Word. We changed the default paste options for content copied from outside of your current document. Who's we, and why the fuck are you touching my shit? <laughs> Stop it. What did you- what got changed? Merge formatting your pasted content will match the look and feel of your existing- But- Okay, so they just made it paste as plain text manu- Paste as plain text as the default now instead of pasting with formatting. Because you could just manually do that anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, we decided this is best for both of us. Fucking Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like... Oh, it doesn't say in the program. I think this is Word... Microsoft Word, like, 20... Fucking... 11 or 2013 or some shit. Um, because I don't really have a good reason to have Word other than the fact that it was on this computer already because 
it was purchased before they went to the subscription model and I was still in school and it was important to have. <laughs> Michael Soft, why? Michael Soft, fucking leave us alone. Hello, Leku, welcome. We're just going over community news. We're 2007 fans, rise up, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am just loathing the day when I'm finally gonna have to learn how to use LibreOffice simply because I don't want to have to learn a new program. <laughs> but it's coming for me eventually. I do know that. Um, anyway. Yeah, okay. So we are not going to have another update for this month, and that's cool. We'll still have both updates, you know, technically speaking, by their original plan, both updates to read tomorrow, tomorrow's stream. Um, <clears throat> Cliffy. Um... This is the only other, like, community newsy type thing. Uh, we, of course, we've talked already before about The Smuppet Show, November 9th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, which would be 8 p.m. in Eastern Standard Time, my particular time zone. Although, now I'm wondering if this is accounting for... Daylight Savings. Because Daylight Savings is next weekend. And I don't remember what kind of time zone timey fuckery happens. There's like slight differences in the timing, I think, between US and Canada and like some places do things. I don't fucking know. I'm probably overcomplicating this in my own head. But, <laughs> um... Anyway. Your convenience, I've altered your copy paste privileges. Yeah. Yes, falling back. We're going back an hour next weekend, not this weekend. I got that mixed up when I was trying to figure out. It's Splatoween weekend. Things are happening in Splatoon. It's seasonal Splatfest time. And the very, very important question is which what's the wording again sorry i have it right here what would you be in a fantasy world a wizard a knight or a ninja <laughs> um i have a group of individuals who i do spot fests with and we unanimously agreed on wizard Um, but yeah, I was looking at the time and I was like, is it daylight savings this weekend? That might affect the time that it ends on Sunday. No, it's so next weekend. Um, November 3rd, specifically. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. I haven't been playing enough Splatoon lately, so I'm excited to get back into it. I did a little bit today and I was a little rusty, but not as bad as I thought I was going to be. I did a lot better in Salmon Run. I always do better in Salmon Run <laughs> um, than in competitive, but uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing lately, like a lot, a lot, a lot of Animal Crossing. I have leaned back into it full tilt because when I was really sick in like August, um, I was like, I need things that I can I need to do things that will make me happy and not stressed because <laughs> everything sucks so I started getting back into Animal Crossing and I set tangible goals and I've been back on that daily Animal Crossing grind for like a couple months now I guess it would be um <clears throat> yeah can't be everyone <laughs> alone uh, yeah, it was, it was a rough one, but Animal Crossing, um, yeah, I've been doing, like, a fuck ton of Animal Crossing lately. I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention there, I lost my train of thought. That's fine, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. It's a good game, and I have been playing it. Very much. Oh, I'm I'm at almost a thousand hours in Animal Crossing New Horizons now. I hit just over six hundred hours in New Leaf by the time I put it down to start my island life. Um 
but New Horizons hitting it out of the park on that one. <laughs> anyway, 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 it's not what we're here for. I mean, no, 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 no shame in, in discussing such other things, but we have very important, uh, this. I, I just really love the, um, dedication and attention to detail in, like, I mean, maybe these three cakes make it somewhere into a background of a set or something, or are part of this Muppet Show movie, but, like, it seems kind of like they would have just been made for this very specific meme, <laughs> because it's one cake for each of the Barbie adaptations that Naked Bee has done. Because we have the far right with theater of cruelty and detective pony in the middle and then the Smuppet show movie on the left. Each of them, uh, kind of the size of each cake reflecting kind of the size of the project. You know, the theater of cruelty being, I think it was about 20 minutes. And of course, detective pony was fucking massive. And the Smuppet show movie, we don't know how long it's going to be, but you know, movie-ish length. Um... But yeah, I'm really hyped for this, and I'm really looking forward to getting to watch it. Here. Here. There is the link. It's a gift for you. And if you're watching on YouTube, link's in the description, as always. Okay. <clears throat> so. We are finishing this baby today. Chapter X. An intermission of sorts. Meanwhile. <clears throat> let me know about music volume as I'm sitting here turning up the volume on my computer so that I can hear it a little more. Let me know about y'all, y'all's audio volume. <clears throat> DP hesitantly crawls up to their phone, curiously pawing at the device and feigning ignorance as though they don't know what the fuck it is because they're kind of embarrassed to talk to, to the sprite squared they know was on the other end. DP musters the strength to slowly inch a claw to the screen. Will they answer in time? They're low-key starting to catch a vibe with that ringtone, though. They might fuck around and toy with this vibe. Have a grand old time with this vibe. The whole time the vibe fears for its life. The vibe is trying to play dead, but that won't ever stop old DP. Uh-oh. Dude. Just an an anthor an anthor Okay, the W in answer is silent, so I'm not gonna... Just answer the fucking phone, you obnoxious asshole. <laughs> yeah, I will. Sorry, man. Oh, let me get this break video queued up before I... Uh, before it gets lost. Hello. That's... what? There. Okay. Got it. Move from Deltarink. Let's, uh, just one moment to get this actually. So, okay, and now I do this and I do. fucking around. Just a titch. Okay. So that's ready for later. And now Dave Petta is answering the phone. <clears throat> What's shaking? <gasps> it's Jasper's from all the way over in 
Midnight City. Yeah, the uh, Patreon bonus comics from the original run of the comic. I, if I remember correctly, there's intention to eventually fold them into the main comic. Um, and I mean, I guess I must be remembering correctly because if that intention wasn't there, then this whole segment would exist. Um, a paywalled coma for four years. Yeah. Um, I should probably stream those again sometime. I did stream them ages ago, uh, but I decided not to put those streams on YouTube. But if they're gonna bring them back into the fold in a more prominent way, I should probably figure out when I am going to get back to that. Yeah, they're on the they're on the website. Like they're on beyondcanon.com, uh, freely available. Um, yeah, when they when they stopped uh, when they put the Patreon on uh, indefinite hiatus, but um, yeah, I guess I'm sorry, I'm just realizing this now. I guess I should probably do that soon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, Max. Welcome. Was this part of the bonus thing where the other universe's Jane was taken out for a night on the town slash intervention to steer her off the path of her counterpart and also Dad was there? Yes. Yes, that is correct. That's the only one you can remember. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Uh should be this one yeah so they're yeah they're all labeled as currently inactive um yeah so there was i don't actually remember what a threat sensed is about a treatise on representational democracy was about earth sea politics catnapped is the one that's currently being referenced diamonds dames and dads is about Diamonds Droog and Dad Crocker's side of Catnapped, I believe. And the Influencers uh, was about a group of um, Harry's classmates. Uh, the one where Snowman showed up, kidnapped them, did a meme, and then kicked them out. Threat Senses is Dirk talking about Yiffy. Oh, I do have a really vague memory of that. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been meat dirt. Pile much one through you, I suppose so. Yeah, it is all kind of melting together in my head, but we'll we'll get back to that. Um at some point. Um but first getting caught up on the main comic. And also fucking Disco Elysium, finishing that goddamn game. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Haven't you heard it's rude to keep a lady waiting? Oh. I hit spacebar, but I need to click on the game, and then spacebar will do the thing that I wanted to do. Okay. I bet you were doing that thing where you'd start role-playing out loud to yourself about picking up the phone instead of just picking the damn thing up. Um... Nipa? <laughs> well, this, I believe I have been informed as an Umineko reference. Umineko when they cry, when, when the pigeons cry. Um, hold on, is this all again? I'm just double checking that I'm getting this right. Yeah. Anime and or visual novel. I think Umi Neko is just visual novel. Um. Uh. 
but yes, Nippon, that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a Numi Neko reference, which there are apparently if more of, kind of peppered through things. I was beginning to think I wouldn't be able to get any service, what with all the interference between the plot point's hyper-concentrated essentiality field and Midnight City's super plausational canonical deniability. Oh right, we're we're busting out the, the big words here. Why does this skyscraper say Oh, I think Rose is covering it up right now. I'll come back to that after Rose Jasper Rose has moved, because I can't see about behind their head of what you're referring to. Um, yes, interference between the plot points, hyper-concentrated essentiality field, truth, relevance, and essentiality, of course, plot point, and Midnight City's super plausational canonical deniability, given that it was Patreon bonus content, not inside of the main comic. <laughs> Getting, getting meta. Oh yeah, I guess that is, I see what you're talking about now. Oh, H works to hide, uh, yeah. Yeah, but it wouldn't have made her sprite go away. Her head would still be in the way. Um, fun lighting choice, I guess. Um. Hmm. I hate that I understand right I hate that I understand what you're saying when you speak like this. <laughs> Isn't it delightful? Well, to reduce a, to reduce our word count and need our poor brain biscuits I'll and need our poor brain biscuits. UFC is an anagram. Um, United Federation of, what is it? UFC is a fighting, sp sport fighting organization or something, right? Or am I just like mixing up things that have absolutely nothing to do with each other? <laughs> I'm gonna try this line again. <laughs> well, to reduce our word count and need our poor brain biscuits ill since you've been gone, we'll just call it the point now. Oh, yes. Anagram are you in your letter? Hmm. Gotta try and find the case somewhere. <laughs> How delightfully quirky. Let's get to ours, shall we? Personally, I've been having an incredible time. Other than the Crocker Patriarch and his new tall, dark, and loathsome bow hounding us. They've been on our tails this whole night. In my opinion, this operation could do without a pair of hard-boiled hall monitors filling the night air with pheromones, gunpowder, and the scent of Barbasol. Ugh. But hey, down in cold drinks and dodging hot lead, Midnight City certainly doesn't disappoint. Jaspros, you've been drinking? Ugh, cuz... Yeah, Rose. U L B C. <laughs> Please. You know it's only milk bars for me. Well, perhaps the occasional martini bar. Though with them, it's more difficult to find bartenders that won't bat an eye when I order a glass of that delectable matronal... Ma matronal ambrosia. Speaking of, I've made fantastic progress as with the enchanting yet problematic Miss Crocker. <laughs> enchanting yet problematic. <laughs> That's good. Sorry, I feel like I'm going 
going a little too fast. But... Yes, getting weird looks ordering milk at a martini bar, yes. Yeah. Okay, no. Ro Jasper's did not use problematic. That was purely a Dave Pettaism. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and she that's good. That's good. That's got to be your favorite combination. I think I might. <sighs> My Dave Petta voice is still fucking all over the place. I think I'm just gonna lean into the Dave. Cause I've been trying to like. I don't even fucking know what I've been trying to do. <laughs> you LPC. <laughs> um. Trying to figure out something more in a Petta E, but. I think I'll just have to see if I can, like, catify Dave's voice a little. Mm. That's gotta be your favorite combination. Guilty is charged. Oh, it's almost a shame I'll have to pass her off soon. Her politics are still a little eyebrow raising, but they won't raise any torches and pitchforks yet. We've also had some developments of, from my new favorite foppish lunk. <laughs> Ah, oh, words. <laughs> the inimitable Mr. English. Though he does seem to be locked in the particularly stubborn throes of his broken-hearted malaise. <laughs> New favorite foppish lunk. What a set of words. Yes, and his broken-hearted malaise because these are meat guys. And... They're dealing with the fallout of Dirk fucking off to space. Ain't that- oh god, that's one of the worst moments in the epilogues. Not the worst, but it's very high up there. It's things like that that make me think maybe I'll just never crack that book open. <laughs> oh, there's an ooze. Okay. Okay, okay. It, we'll, we'll ooze. Fine. Yes. Okay. I'm, c I'm confident I can tail past the pitiable Pwesh exterio and reveal the flagrant popoe of heroism that lies b within before curtain call. Sounds like you had a real eventful, uh... How many weeks of developments has this been? I wasn't fully pulling attention. Weeks? Oh, Dave Petta, we've only, we've only been out on the town for a single sensual and whitening night. <laughs> Anywho, while still on the subject of the stubborn and problematic, how goes your walk on the winchpin of this operation? Well, I mean, it's going. Damn. That bad? Junior, we are fucked. Is that supposed is that supposed to be like short for junior? Or is that an, uh, an acronym that I am not recalling properly? Truly <laughs> map walk back to front, not to back. Ugh. Oh, Jaspros. Man, I've not been hitting it out of the park lately with this kind of stuff. Literally the person that he's talking to. You saw Junior first too. Okay, okay. <laughs> Feel like a little bit better. <laughs> but damn. I was getting tripped up on quirks last week and now I'm you know. Any work this the point starts with a conversation about per piss surely must not end until a diatribe of Oh god. No. No. Ugh. I mean, I I hate that you're right because of the fucking apple juice piss conversation, but like, no, not full circle. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Jr. Yeah, we were fucked. Well, actually, we were we were probably fine, I guess, since it's like hypo time. 
Well, actually, we'll probably find, I guess, since it's like hypo time, so it's okay in the grand scheme of shit. But god damn, it's eight steps forward, seven weeps back every session. This therapist shit is not easy. Hmm, yes, the way you smashed that third eight ball indicates you have unresolved feelings about your father. Oh, you don't have a father? Our species doesn't even know what the fuck that is? Well, fuck me then, I don't know. <laughs> You'd probably be way better with this than me. I don't know if Jaspers would. Jaspers would get significantly more pleasure out of this. This whole process. But would probably antagonize Briska into a frothing rage. <laughs> Intentionally or unintentionally. Dave Petty's not even doing any therapy. I think you're just sitting there. Well, I mean, yes and no, because, like, they are still fielding conversations with Riska in between all of these escapades, which, uh, you know, like, with the other sprites as well, you know, like, obviously, like, Dave Pet is just not doing it alone. The other sprites are also doing that, but they are, like, they are a part of the process in... The, the therapizing process in that way, so to speak. Um, <laughs> the chaperone. Yeah. Yeah, because the last... Yeah, this whole intermission and things going rough and all that. Like, the last one, the, what that we saw Vriska do was Doc Scratch. And that was a rough one. Like, we got the victory screen, but it did not feel like a victory. I would, yes. I'm in hell and you don't even kill. <laughs> it turns out hell is what turns out hell was trying to get Whiska Soka to change her mind. <laughs> Yeesh. And you've been at this for how long? Well, on the outside it's only been maybe an hour or so. So Shaper is an inherent funny word. Mm hmm Um, so we're getting an idea of the outside perspective. Of things. Um, so on the outside, it's only been an hour. Um, and what we saw in the October update was a. <laughs> um, I believe is all happening while Risk is still in the point. So it's only been. Well, no, I mean, Dave Fett is saying it's been. I mean, like, sure, unreliable narrator, maybe, but Dave Fett is saying it's only been an hour, and that, like, kind of matches up with the other stuff that we know about what's happening on the outside right now. Um. But yeah. I lost my train of thought. I feel like I had something else there. Oh, on our side of things. <laughs> yes, that's. Yes, it did take about that long. Um. On our side of things. Which would twins wait to cent centralize point time as maybe about full use. So, again, this conversation is happening in a relatively immediate vicinity to risk of getting out of the dock scratch one, because that was the last. Um, time that we were given at the beginning of, of a segment for her time passing at the beginning of a chapter. <laughs> four years? What have you even been doing there for four years? Deep, deep he swides up against the door flame, all swick like folds their arms and cocks their head forward, dropping the shades just enough for you to steal a glance at their highly coveted neon gander bulbs. Chillin'. <laughs> it's a good way to spend some time. Chillin'. Yeah. 
And that's all you've been doing? Chilling? Pretty much. Fucking incredible. I suppose it's been in line with her particular plan to extend her stay for another four years. God, can you imagine? Mm-hmm. So. There's our check-in with, uh... Those particular sprites. Empty slide, the end of every chapter. Oh fuck yeah. Gotta give you give it a moment to like sink in that it's finished. But um Yeah, so that's how things are going. Dave Pet is a bit concerned. Because the dog scratch thing did not go great. They've been in there for a long time. And Jasper's checking in from Midnight City. We'll get back to that situation eventually as well. Um, but yes, that's from the, the bonus stories that uh, they're going to loop in at some point. Um, I want to be like, what's happening? I mean, I mean... Take a look. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yes, I like the little, like, it's a gentler transition out of the chapter. Okay. Uh, we've only got one more chapter left. Finish this baby off with chapter six. Interesting decision to note that it goes chapter four, chapter X, chapter six. You don't really get a chapter five. Anyway. Again, this is just saying later, this is once again not a big time skip. Mind Fang, or is Mom Fang? Spider Mom Mind Fang. Mom Fang, Doc Scratch, this conversation, and the final here are happening within a relatively short time frame of each other. Baby off? <laughs> Later. Well, here we are. Here we fucking are. It's been a long ass time, but we're creeping up behind the grand finale. That finale is never gonna see it coming. The final boss. Master Hand, your days are fucking numbered. More like minutes. Finally ready to take that final step? I needed a breather. Sorry, I just need a little bit of water. Yeah, she would have needed a breather. I do hope that we come back to the dog scratch thing at some point, maybe, because it feels a little bit unresolved. It just, like, ended terribly, and that was kind of it. Dave's smash main? I don't have enough of the roster memorized to answer that question accurately. Any takers? Any takers in chat? Who's Dave Smash main? <laughs> I needed a breather. You sure did. A tear, a tear begins to well up in DP's eyes, eye behind their shades. They feel like a mom sitting, seeing their freshly pupated charge about to finish their final trials and march off to the subgrubs or maybe a dope ass cave. DP wonders, will they be safe out there? Will she make use of all the lessons they've learned in here? Will she remember to wipe the lid? <laughs> Fafetta! Now... I 
I am not entirely sure what this thing about wiping the lid is. Is this... Uh... Cat thing that I'm not clued in on? <laughs> That, that confused me the first time that I read it, too. I feel like I saw somewhere someone being like, Oh yeah, this and that, and I, it's flown out of my head. I have no idea what this is. Oh, can't be Sans because his Earth died in 2009. Right, it needs to be- What was the most current version of Smash in 2009? Would that be Brawl? Yeah? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting nods from Brother, because that would have been Wii era. Uh... Veta looks like she was drawn. I'll turn you around. Like maybe direct homage to the original talk sprites. Mm. Proper etiquette, jeez. <laughs> okay! Uh, Brawl, Brawl was 2000. Okay, yeah. So the Brawl roster. I also am not super familiar with. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big Smash player, just like in general. But, again. I pose to the chat if there's any takers to answer that. Feel free. Yeah. I guess they do kind of go back to the Doc Scratch thing. Just not in a lot of detail. Just being like, yeah, I needed a break, you know. That was a rough one. Yeah, well, back now. Kirby? Why to, <laughs> to be annoying? <laughs> I've heard people don't like Kirby mains, because Kirby is a little bit OP, a little bit too easy to play. Oh my god, I'm remembering being a kid and playing Smash with my cousins and everybody getting really fucking pissed at my one cousin who wouldn't stop picking Kirby. And being really annoying. <laughs> to be the biggest troll. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yes. This is, a, this is very cute with Feta. The thief proudly puffs out her chest with her hands on her hips and her back to the sun, looking heroic and badass. Ha! <laughs> You've got nothing to fear. I'm older and wiser now. I want to thank you, too. What for? I barely did shit. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad you were here anyway. You and everyone else. Hee <laughs> hee. You always go curb. Mm. But bro would main one of the many anime swordsmen. True. Yeah, my Smash main, I didn't play enough Smash to really pick until Ultimate. Um, not Ultimate. Hold on, I'm getting titles mixed up. Ultimate is the one for Switch, and the Wii U one. Was it just called Smash for Wii U? And Smash for 3DS. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's why I was struggling to remember a subtitle, because they literally just called it Smash for Wii U. Um, yeah, I didn't play enough to really pick a main. <laughs> Wii U was just Smash- <laughs> Wii U was just four. <laughs> um, yeah, until that particular generation of the game. Um, at which point, I decided that I made Villager because fucking of course. Um, my Animal Crossing ass. The eyes make me- ah! Sorry, I'm- This app is doing that- it did that thing again where it redirects me to a different channel. Oh! Um... Oh my god, that's right. I don't think I even had the opportunity to talk about it on here. Benjamin Minutes Live did a charity live stream this summer that I watched most of. That was like a Homestuck game show. It was fucking sick as hell. It was fantastic. Um, and I was seeing on Twitch that he is currently live uh, doing Friendsim. So when we're finished here today, uh, we're going to raid Benjamin Minutes. We're going to pop on over there. 
uh, just because that was the channel that it redirected me to randomly, which is really fucking annoying to be redirecting me when I'm trying to run my own stream right now. But anyway, Twitch app aside, um, the Forkwool. <laughs> the fairy only has one talk sprite from the original, so it's probably a, a point of reference. Hmm. Could be. Yes. Anyway, Fifetta. Oh god, I fucking hate this part. Hold on. Okay, I have to say something. So, DP, you're half Nepeta, right? Yeah. Well, more of a whole Nepeta, along with a whole other dude. Yeah. Oh god. But Fafetta's but Fafetta's also a whole Nepeta. So like how does that work? Frisco, wait, don't say it! Why are there two Nepetas? You fucking killed her! <laughs> no, not again! <laughs> Dear, sweet, precious Fafetta! Oh, that was a really good noise though. I liked that noise. But fuck. <laughs> What the fuck was that? You just fucking sent dear sweet precious Fafetta to Sprite City. Uh, uh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Risk of life doesn't actually hold up to scrutiny, but it's fine because Fafetta dies, which is always funny. God. Yeah, there can be multiple versions of a character in his- I mean, there's two Nana Sprites here. Banished in a puff of logic. But there's two Nana Sprites here! From two different universes, so there can be two Nepetas from two different universes. Cause Fafetta didn't happen... ...in the Dave Sprite universe. Or in, or in the Dave Petta Sprite... ...squared universe. You were confused as to how she was unexploded, though. Oh, that's right. She did fully explode in the timeline that she's from. <laughs> I mean, I guess it, that's fair. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I'm just happy we got to see her again. I like her conceptually. I wish that. She got more time, or maybe said some words sometimes, because we know she can do that, because she talked to Roxy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I was actually just fucking around earlier, but honestly, I'm actually gonna miss you. I think I'm feeling a goodbye glomp coming on. Hey, hey, we talked about this. Oh yeah, sorry. DP deflates like a cartoon meow beast that's blown that's been blown up by some freaky pervert, tied a tied to a balloon, handed off to a snot nosed kid at a theme park theme park who just fucking lets it go because he got distracted by Goofy and Mickey during M Mickey Doogie. What the fuck? Sorry, I don't. <laughs> How am I supposed to read this sentence? Okay, hold on. <laughs> um, this is how. Oh, I guess she is the one sprite that on-screen exploded that showed up here, so I don't know. Just figured all the sprites died off-screen. This is sprite hell. She is the only one who... Who, like, genuinely died. In the comic, yeah. DP deflates like a cartoon meow beast that's been blown up by some freaky pervert. Tied to a balloon, handed off to a snot-nosed kid at a theme park who just fucking lets it go because he got distracted by Goofy and Mickey duking it out. I still feel like I didn't read that with the right cadence, but I'm not doing it again. That summer heat makes people crazy. <laughs> Only two sprites died on screen, Tavris and Fafetta, and Tavris ain't here. That is true, Tavris is not here. But that could be for other reasons. 
I don't know. Maybe, or maybe, maybe they just put Fafetta in because they wanted to do the Fafetta joke because it's funny and Fafetta is great. But Tavris would have been very funny to have here. Tavris, Tavris being here would be its own fucking, like, therapy chapter. You know what I mean? That would have been its own, like, thing for her to, like, pass and climb her candle eschel at her more or whatever. Final boss Tavris sprite. Oh, yeah. Fully fucking final boss material. Oh my god, that would actually be so fucking funny. <laughs> uh. Alright, fine. One hug before I crush this and I'm out of here. Yay! <laughs> well. There it is. Here you go, your last health. I've been waiting for this one. I have a pretty good feeling I know who's waiting on the other side. You're a real pro at the Silent Hill Mind Prison shit now. You've come so far. It's been real, Dave Petta. See you around. It is a good art. I do enjoy this very much. Good luck, Briska. And in we go. Hey! Terzy! Oh, 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 that's not Terzy! That is not Terzy's silhouette. Is that you? I knew it would be you. You were the one thing missing from this. Even if you're just a phantom designed to explicitly to torture me, I'm so happy to see... you? What? Who are... It's... Briska. <laughs> Fucking... Parentheses Briska. Original... First non-retconned timeline. Briska, who got murdered by Tara Z and quote-unquote went soft in the dream bubbles. She has to face this version of herself. Baby face and all. Yes, yeah, speaking of pre-recon, all that talk of pre- pre- and post-recon sprites. Removed <laughs> from existence like innocent little bear side again. Yeah, no, not- not the- not Aranya. Not here. Also not Terezy. Uh -huh. Alright, fine. Makes sense I'd have to do this eventually. I'm sorry. For all that shit I said to- did to you. It was wrong of me to hate you for getting soft. For knowing when to quit. For choosing to be happy. I get that now. Huh? What the hell? Opening her arms for a hug? Come on now. You're asking for too much. You're really gonna make me do this? What will you do? I... 
I won't. I can't. all that and she still can't accept that part of herself she still can't truly face and accept that this is also her and we leave her sitting right back where she started to be concluded later yeah, I assume we're going to come back to this at some point. Because it was this was a kind of an end. But not really the end of all this. You feel me? Mhm. Mm but that is it. That is where we leave Riska for the foreseeable future. I said this wasn't the end on Twitter, I think. Oh, hold on. <sighs> Twitter.com. Yeah, I'm not on Twitter. I should probably be paying more attention to that. Although, I do know that James also recently made a Blue Sky account. That's kind of where everybody's going these days. Um... Oh, more of a personal account, so please be normal. Sorry, I'm just looking at Twitter trying to figure stuff out. Um, but... Only look for, at this Twitter for news updates. Yeah. Um... I'm just not on Twitter. Oh, there's cool stuff here, though. Shit. Um. Like, there's a fucking prom stuck thing. Hello? Oh, holy shit, that's like a whole in-person- hold on. <laughs> hold your horses. Okay, so I'll talk a little more about that. Um. Anyways. Must be slain by the boy. So here's your, your sneak peek of where we're going to start tomorrow, because that is it for today. Um, just take a peep at this, because that's cool as shit. Um, it's an in-person event next August. Everything will be on there. And... Yeah, Dance of the Dreamers. Morgan Hill, California. Interesting. Oh, they have Michael Guy Bowman coming. DJ, this guy, Broadway suck. And Kim. Okay. So that's really fucking cool. I will have to keep an eye out for updates on that. I will follow them on Twitter, even though I don't really use my Twitter anymore. <laughs> DashCon 2.0 is... No, DashCon 2.0 is 
a thing that someone's organizing in fucking Toronto. Hold on. I'm just going to put that in my search history. Um... I saw something about it on, they have, where's the fucking website? I am struggling to find information now. That is frustrating. Because I know that it's a thing that some people are like actually organizing. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that's pretty fucking cool. Keep an eye out for that. Okay, it is A little earlier than usual once again but uh, I think I am gonna call here and we'll do this tomorrow mm. yeah cuz I like doing the full updates in one thing although this maybe wouldn't be so bad to break apart I don't know cuz this Um, this whole chunk there, it's a lot of pages with like a fuckload of text all in a row. So what, we'll, we'll run longer tomorrow. I promise you that. Um, yes, I do remember there is a video to play. Um. Now we know the secret is actually two updates. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how I end up have, you know, having to split that. Because uh, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of reading. A lot more reading than uh, the visual novel stuff today for sure. You'll like the video. It is some Deltarune stuff. I'm sure I will. Um, but yeah, we'll come back tomorrow for this and then we'll be caught up and we can get back to Disco Elysium next week. Woohoo! Um, I think that's about all I have to say for closing things off. Um, so thank you for joining me. Um, we'll play video and then I'm going to jump us all over to raid Benjaminites. Good night.